placement mini screw in retrovelar pad area of mandible. Another position to place screws in mandible is retromelar pad area. We can place the screws to retract whole mandibular dentition or to upright the molar, etc. Anatomically, the low molar position is lingually than the pad area. So you should understand the shape of the mandible. It is a V-shape. Caution should be taken when placing screws not to place in the empty space right behind the tooth. The retromolar pad area provides very good quality of cortical bone. The bone is very thick and dense and it is covered by very thick and movable soft tissue. So we should use so-called closed method. But in this area, you don't need to cut the tissue in inserting the screw. That means if you place a screw directly without incision, automatically it will be covered by the tissue a few days later and it will turn into closed method. So you need a small incision to expose the head only when removing the screw. After local injection, to find the right location, first examine and locate with index finger where retromolar pad is. Keep in mind, thick and dense cortical bone with very thick and movable mucosa. And then we should use screws large in diameter, longer in length. The larger and longer is the better. But as the head will be buried in the tissue, I prefer to use 1.8mm and 8mm or 2.0 and 8mm. Once the point of entry is determined, insert the screw until the head compress the tissue real tight. For closed method, we need wire extension. Before the head sinks into the tissue with the ligature wire, or one zero or, or one two in diameter, by twisting it around the neck of the screw, make a wire extension. And cut it as needed. Make a small hook Then you can hook elastics or coil spring, etc. Squeeze the hook for retention of the elastics. You can hook it to the spur or bracket in the front. Even though the head is covered by the tissue several days later, as the hook is still exposed, you can change the elastic three to four weeks later.